Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. And today, what we have here is finally the Tapan version for the Strike Freedom uh, Meta Build version. So yeah, um, this box size as compared to the one that I have with the Dragon Momoko, in terms of length here, this whole length, it's definitely um, much more longer. But then it's more flatter compared to the box in the Dragon Momoko. But yeah, nonetheless, right in front here, we have here the very nice here that's sort of like emphasizing on the gold color that you have on this Dragon Momoko kit. So yeah, as you can see here, basically the Papa model, and then here is the kit itself. So as you can see, it looks awesome. So next here, we move to the side. So let me focus. As you guys can see, this would be the completed product once it's all done. I'm still not sure how the rod will do, but yeah, we'll take a look after that once I've completed. So yeah, here's the other side of it. And of course, as always, Tapan doesn't use the Gundam, it will be fighter. And then, now let's just move on to the other side. So yeah, basically here, it would be like this here, the completed product. Like I mentioned, the red piece here, if I'm not mistaken, it is supposed to be a transparent piece. But yeah, until then, we see the parts, we would not know. And then here, we have basically the other parts of the body, look of the... Dragoon system and then here look at the beam rifle here the two beam rifle connected to each other it will be cool to see how all the things here hold up and then next year you can see just strike freedom fighter again and then now here move aside as always here you can see the strike freedom is taking off this post actually looks really cool this this almost looks exactly like a perfect grade one to perfect grade one stroke sixty, as in the box art. Like you can see here, usually you can see the kit, and then here's like the hollow version of it. So yeah, I would say a very good job to Tapan this time around. As you guys can see here, the gold color they sort of make this gold color like the Dragon Momoko, the not the not the shining gold like the orangey gold color. So yeah, and then here, let me just hold up like a sort of a short information about the kit so yeah let me put it back down again basically i just got this and i did not have the time to unbox it but yeah now i'm actually um opening this kit with you guys for the first time So yeah, basically everything is still in plastic, I have not removed it, like I say, I was quite busy. And then now here's the manual, a little bit um, dented here, but yeah, nothing stopped now. So yeah, let me just remove all of the plastics, then I'll get back to you guys to look at the parts that this Strike Freedom comes with. Hi guys, so welcome back, I've removed all the packaging. So now we'll take a look at the parts. So here to show you guys the shield um, this piece here it doesn't have much effect let me just focus it doesn't have much effect as compared to the Dragon Momoko version of it but nonetheless yeah it's still thoughtful of them to give us um, one part shield the effect part here so yeah put this aside then next here of course the base take a look at the base first we have here of course the starting Strike Freedom Fighter as compared to the Dragon Momoko version is the side here. Let me just put down here the comparison here. You know, here you just say Strike Freedom, but then the Tapan version is the Strike Freedom Fighter. As compared to both, you guys can see the white color. The if you guys seen my Tapan review for the Togi Tree, you guys would know that the Tapan white color they are following exactly the white color in the Togi Tree. So yeah, it's not the perfect white color, but it's sort of like a grayish, light, super light gray. So yeah, so basically the base for it is done here. And then next here, we have sort of like the Dragoon system, where you'll be mounting on the funnels later on. So yeah, basically it's just like that. It looks kind of cool. So this part itself looks like the X here. But yeah, still don't know how what's until I fix it. So yeah, basically these two parts are just like that just two huge pieces 
So now we move on the official parts, which is this red color here. It sort of give, it sort of give you the feel. This is not like your usual red color. This is sort of like the like Dragon Momoko the gold color part, but then you can see there the color is really infused to it. It's yeah, it looks really good. It's definitely not your usual red color. So yeah, it looks kind of cool. And then now here your black color piece. I'm trying to find if there's any design to show you guys. So yeah, this is definitely the backpack here. So not sure what else. Basically, other are just small parts. There's really nothing much I can show you guys. And then here basically are all the funnels. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have total of eight funnels of it. So yeah, this side. And then here is the other part. I think this might actually be the dragon system for it. I'm not so sure. So yeah, again. And then now, this part here is of course the dragon system. Let me just put near here to show you guys uh, the details for it. So yeah, again, it looks okay. I mean, it's almost as the same as the dragon Momoko. So you guys can see here just to show a reflection of the light a bit. So yeah, basically that's it here. And then here is the beam saber effect part. It's actually kind of short. It's sort of like this dragon system length, but just slightly longer. So yeah, kind of short, kind of disappointed. I was expecting it to be almost as long as the funnels. Let me just pull out the funnels here. As you guys can see this, the length comparison. Yeah, here. Let me just focus. So yeah, basically like that. So quickly put back the side. And then this part here is of course the stand. And like I mentioned, it's not um, pure white. It's soft like lightish like grey. So yeah, this part's too long. So I'll just put it aside here. And then next here is of course white. Piece. Are there any details to show you guys? I guess here would be the the beam cannon at the waist there. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, this should be it. So yeah, I can see it's actually quite detailed, which is kind of good. So yeah, again, still can't really deduce what is it until the end. And then here is another piece here. This would be putting on the beam saber, the handle. So yeah, again, nothing much really. And then, okay, here would be the waist. Let me push out. So yeah, you guys can see. Again, I just, I only can show you guys the detail. So sorry about that. So yeah, basically it's just like that. And then here, the blue, another blue color piece. This would be the legs. So yeah, you guys can see the legs here. It's actually really detailed. So that's good to see. Again, nothing much. And then next one here. It's another grey color piece, but nothing much again to show you guys. But what I can tell you is that this again this color is kind of different. It's it's really if you have the Dragon Momoko gold color, it's sort of like that, but just that this is in grey. So yeah, it's kind of good how Tapan does it. So yeah, basically it's just again another black color. Can't really show you guys much again. And then here is another black color part. Again, nothing to show you guys. Um, yeah, basically it's just like that. And then here now is the polycaps. This polycaps is almost as the same color as the Dragon Momoko. I have one here plucked out from Dragon Momoko so you guys can sort of see the comparison. Here compared to this, this Dragon Momoko and this is Tapanon. So yeah, Dragon Momoko one would be slightly darker. This Tapan version of the Polycap, it's more plain in a way. So yep, still don't know how it will work out to it. And then next here, the other two remaining white piece here, of course would be the leg armor piece on top here. So yeah, again, nothing much. So that's it for all the plain color parts. 
so the one that I bet everyone of you is the most anticipating of is the gold color part here I left I need cut open one plastic the rest I still remain in the plastic because I still haven't completed the Jerome Momoko and I don't want anything to happen to the gold color of it fading off but yeah here is the first gold color of it as you guys can see it's really shiny let me just focus just in case you guys can't see it so yeah as you guys can see it's really shiny now let's let me bring the part of the legs here as you guys can see in comparison is dragon i mean tapan version of it is actually really shiny compared to um the dragon momoko version of the go but yeah one thing i would say is this um this go um, reminds me of the Hyakushiki version 2.0 released by Bandai Master Grade. So if you guys have um, built that, and I would say that this gold color is really similar to that gold color, but this is slightly brighter color, as in more shinier, if that makes sense. I've not built, of course, the Hyakushiki 2.0, but I've seen it in real life for the gold color. So yeah, let me just put this one aside here, the piece. So basically here is of course the inner frame for the legs again still don't know how and i bet you guys are interested to see at the back here so yeah the back here this part would definitely need to send that's without a doubt so yeah just put this back here and of course here is another same piece replicate part just to back down and then here would be this part there's one weave in here and you can see the inner frame for it it's actually really detailed, I'm not sure you guys can see. This part here is for the front skirt. And then here is the weave in here. So yeah, again, and then here would be at the chest there. This part here would be the chest part, not sure you guys can see. So yeah, it's looking very good. I'm quite optimistic about this top on version. But yeah, again here there's nothing much. So let me just put back inside here. And then here are the pair of hands. So based on what I can see, we have two open hands. And then this, I'm not sure should maybe this other thing is the trigger hand definitely. But yeah, I can see here. Then here is the fingers. So yeah, then again nothing much really. And then here is the trigger fingers. Let me just focus again. So yeah, here it is the trigger the trigger hand here. So yeah, again the hand. And then next here is the I'm not sure which part, but this part looks like it will be the legs here. So yeah, again, this is the replicate of it. And then next, let me just show you guys. Here what I have is the tapan version of the Go color. This is the Go Delta or Delta Gundam they call it. So let me just put a comparison in between these two. Um, in comparison between this um, Delta Gundam and this um, must the metal build version for this Strike Freedom, I would say this part um, compared to this Go and um, this Strike Freedom Go, this one is it's more reflective, more shiny. But then if you look at this. You can't really see your reflection on it, but yeah, it's sort of like um like a matte matte kind of go. If you guys know what I'm trying to tell you, but yeah, nonetheless, the go color really looks looks really good in portion. As in, there's no like um sort of like fading go color, not in proportion in terms of the color. So yeah, it's really good job to it. So I really like it. As compared to this, you guys can see. Can you, this one you can definitely see your reflection on it. And you can see here once I put it here, it's shiny. But if you put it, if you use this um, tap and go and put it, you can't see it's ref the reflective effect of it. So yeah, that's basically like I want to emphasize the definitely the gold color. So yeah, that's it for this Dragon Momoko unboxing. Now I nearly forgotten which is to take a look at the manual. So yeah, now here is the manual. As you can see, this would be the back color of it, and then at the back here it just says the information. Proto prototype mobile suit strike freedom. Of course, the op is the one who is it op? I, I don't think it's op is the one who created. It was Zaf actually, and then um, 
#kira yamato# what's the what's the girl name I forgotten the princess is the one who stole it from the #zaf# is it (ppo) couldn't remember quite long ago but ya anyway let's proceed on and then here now let's take a look at the part counts there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty and thirty one thirty two oh my god I I think there's actually a problem here I don't think I got a sticker sheet and um I and they say there's actually two shoe for me which I do not have so damn it I will need to contact my supplier to to get it done but yeah anyway here is the head unit it's too far away so let me just hold it up for you guys so yeah basically here like that and then here basically it is like that Basically, um, it's just a normal construction of the body. There's really nothing much compared to Dragon Ball Moko. So yeah, basically here it is. Just a quick one here. Just a quick one here. Just another quick one here. Another quick one here. Then yeah, here it says beam shoe. Shit! There's actually so many parts that's missing. And then yeah, that's it. Um, really nothing much to shout about so yeah that's it for this unboxing i hope you guys have enjoyed it and you, if you guys are new around here please do not forget to subscribe to me because this top and um, version of the strike freedom i will be uploading very soon for the review once i'm done with the review for the dragon Ball Buko, then we'll have a comparison with both of them which one is better and which one is um in terms of two which one is better for you to build so yeah that's it for today's unboxing i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys do have enjoyed please do not forget to drop a like down below and if your friends are all hesitating to buy or what you guys can check on this video to see whether they want it or not so yeah if you're new around here again please don't forget to subscribe as there will be more gunpla videos coming out soon so yeah until then i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys soon in another gunpla video of mine